Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how I fix the you know scan to email issue you know yesterday. Our users has uh, uh, reported there's an issue for they could not scan to email. It was working two weeks ago, but after in the last two weeks it was not working at all. There's no error message from the printer, and uh, there's no error message from the you know SMTP server. However, user. Does not receive the email from the printer. We just scan the email to the uh, email address. So I just simulated the situation. So let's see how we configure this. You know, SMTP. So we have the SMTP server, you know, installed on the Windows server and also in the, on the SMTP server, we configure the you know, the IP address, this is the, you know, the server IP address, and also we enable the login, and also access tab, we set up relay, relay to, either we can relay to the, you know, list below, or, or accept the list below, it depends. If you want to list, you know, only the list below, we need to include the, the print IP address in, so it just include so and also for the connections it's the same we also needed to list either select the you know list below or accept so in the message tab we just uh, you know need to do this so and also in the delivery tab we select the outbound security because we create a you know a user id with the Office 365 license, so we can send the email out. The username is uh, no reply at ccq2020.com and password. And uh, we, you know, take the TIS encryption. And also on the host outbound connection, we select the TCP port for the security. We select this. The default is 25. We change to 587. Click OK and click Advanced. The Advanced, we want to point to the, you know, Office 365. So it's smtp.office365.com. So this is already set up. And also, the others are the same as default. So just click OK. And also, I show you how we configure the no reply. Normally, we have a no reply account and a scanner account. So, no reply account. Username is a no reply at ccco2020.com.au and password never expires. So, and the reply scanner account is just a normal scanner account. And also, if we go to the you know, exchange uh, admin.maxo.com. We see the scanner. Scanner, we have set up the you know, E5 license, and then we go to the exchange, go to this, we search for scanner. So, I when we you know, I signed the license, either we create a user mailbox after that, I change to share the mailbox. So, I don't need the license anymore because the share mailbox does not need a license. I just uh, go to scanner and then go to license. I untick this one, so we change so this one is done. And also, for this, if we go to exchange again, we go to scanner. So we we'll go to delegation and uh, we we'll go to send this. We we'll give the no reply, you know, email mailbox access scan, you know, send us permission to the scanner, you know, mailbox. So this is already done. So after this, we if we go to the no reply, we we'll go to no reply from here. In the admin dot max dot com, we got no reply. So see, this one has the you know Office three six five e five license. So you can reply, and then we click mail, 
and then we can look at the manage email apps. So we see this, you know, authentication, authenticator SMTP needs to be ticked because you know, we when we set up the you know authentication, this one needs to be ticked. So we can use the SMTP. Normally, that's all default. Uh, you know, check now. So it's okay. So now we can just simulate you know how to scan to email address. I just use the simple SMTP you know client because the server you know the server is uh, the server IP address is nine one nine two So I just use the server. IP address and use port 25 because the printer use port 25 to communicate with the SMTP server. And also, I put it there from the scanner, you know, at ccq2020.com.au to the user e email address, bobo.winter at ccq2020.com.au. So I just put the, you know, the time 16. So I put this one, I click so I click send. So email sent out. So now if I go to Bob Winter's email address, we see this you know scanner send the emails successfully. So this is all, all working fine. So you know as you the reports, he could not uh, you know receive the email from the printer. Then we just go to the you know the server, the SMTP server, we go there, and uh, we just select only this one, only this one, and then we go to this uh, SMTP server. We go to the folder. In the folder, you know, the C drive in in that part of the main road, we see this uh, queue here. The queue is all the email sent through the have a created EMF file. It's created, you see this created now. So it's fine. And then if we go to the, because we have enabled the log file, when we go to the windows, and then we go to the system32, go to log files. Local files, and then we go to SMTP SVC one, and this local file daily, you know, every day. So we just uh, open the latest one, this this one, this uh, just the latest uh, file. Just click. So it shows the communication, you know, depends uh, for the SMTP. Because the user could not uh, receive the email, we check, you know, everything seems working fine and uh, there's nothing changed on the SMTP server, but the user still not receive the email. Then we just check the, you know, check the scanner. We log in, because scanner is the mailbox, we go to the outlook.com and log in as a no reply. Because the reply is the email authentication, the email. So I will go this one and then. You know, when the user has the issue to Yesterday, when you the not receive the email, you know, I check everything on this SMTP server. Everything is working fine. But when I go to the no reply mailbox, it just shows that let says the mailbox is full. Then what I did is I just, you know, empty all the items, you know, from the user mailbox because the, the no reply email mailbox is, uh, you know, Microsoft uh, Kiosk. License, they only have two gigabyte, and also for the time being, when you just send an email to all users, it also send an email to this no reply mailbox. And because the mailbox size is very limited, you know, only two gigabyte is four, 
So I just uh, delete all the empty all the emails from the inbox. There are about uh, you know nineteen thousand emails in it. After I empty all the email mailbox, you know, in the mailbox, then I can I just use this simple you know simple SMTP client to test again. It works fine, and then I get users to scan to you know from printer to email address. It's also working fine. So. The issue is uh, what's, what's resolved because you know, the issue is because they no reply, you know, mailbox is full. Then it could not uh, send us to the you know, email out to the other users. Thank you, thank you for watching.